Okay, we're going to go ahead and start uh, today's uh, meeting for Northampton License Commission, uh, February 6, 2019. Um, the uh, commissioners present are Brian Campidelli, Natasha Yakolev, and Helen Kahn. And I want to go ahead and make an announcement that we are video and audio recording at this time. Is there any public comment? Seeing none, we'll move on to item three, application for change of <coughs> LLC manager, change of ownership, interest, and change of manager on an off-premises wine and malt package store license. <coughs> That's uh, Passapati LLC, DBA, Mox, Chips, and Ale, 100 Damon Road, Northampton. Is there anyone present for that? Yeah, we are here waiting for the lawyer. <coughs> oh, so would you like us to skip you and come back oh, yeah. to you? Okay. Thank you. All right, item number four is application for class three car dealer license. Um, I have to recuse myself on this item, uh, being that I do business with these uh, applicants. So. Hi, um, Christopher Pease, and the president of the Post. So um, basically, you know, we had a uh, license years in the past, and it was under uh, my father's name, it was a DBA for 1812, and just like we did it basically now with my name, the president. So nothing really changes. The cars are basically bought and used for parts, and we disposed of after. And do you know the status of the taxes that are due? Um, unfortunately, I do not. I believe everything was, was paid up, and I'm not 100% sure. Do we have anything from the tax collector? We have to it today. Okay. So there is still an arrears okay. according to the tax collector, but we don't have anything in writing. Okay. So I would suggest exploring what is remaining in arrears and coming up, uh, getting current on that. Okay. What are your thoughts? And then, yeah. then reapply. And reapply. Okay. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think that would be the case because the last time you were before us, we talked about kind of bank the or not, it wasn't you, um, but. Um, the person representing the 1812 body. Um, we discussed how the taxes were in arrears mm -hmm. um, and they didn't get paid and then we had to revoke the license last year. Okay. So at this point, because of that history, we can't really grant a new license. No problem. Until that's okay. 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 All right. Perfect. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. I will make a motion to not transfer to Christopher Pease. For the application for class three cars, car dealer list. Just um, a second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thanks, Andy. Thank you, guys. Um, item number five application for short term liquor licenses, the Academy of Music, Inc., DBA Academy of Music Theater. Place is at the Academy of Music, 274 Main Street, Wine and Malt, and they request fee waiver. Date and times are as follows, February 8, 2019, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., Stephen Wright Show. February 15, 2019, 8 p.m., 11 p.m., the J. Damascus Concert. <coughs> February 16, 2019, 8 to 11, Well Red Comedy Tour. February 23, 2019, 8 to 11, The Machine. Floyd Tribute Concert, March 2nd, 2019, 7 to 10 p.m., the Back Porch uh, Festival, March 3rd, 2019, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., Back Porch Festival. And uh, can you say your name for the uh, record, please? My name is Deborah J. Anthony. I'm the Executive Director of the Academy of Music, and I'm here to introduce you to our new theater manager. This is Amanda Spear Purchase, and she will be coming before you for uh, short-term licenses. Okay, great. I'm representing today. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you, too. Welcome. Amanda? Amanda Spear Purchase. Great. Okay. So I presume they're going to be from, like, all the rest of them in the past. Correct. So. Right. You know, that being said, I know you guys do a great job, so I don't have any questions. Did you train for Addy, with Addy for a bit before you left, just on a night of a show? So you oh, a little bit. I actually come from the city stations at the college. Oh, okay. So I have eight years of theater management. Okay. Um, so. Nice. Well, yeah. welcome. Thank you. Great. I have no questions. 
questions here? Okay. Okay. Um, sure. I will make a motion to approve the applications for short term liquor licenses for Wine and Malt for the February 8th performance, Dean and Wright, February 15th, Jay Mascus, February 16th, Well Read Comedy Tour, February 23rd, The Machine, the Pink Boy Tribute Concert, March 2nd, the Back Porch Festival, and March 3rd, the Back Porch Festival, and I also move to approve the request for feedback. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number six, application for short-term liquor license. Haymarket Cafe, Inc. Date time, February 15th, 2019. 8 a.m. to midnight. Um, place is Haymarket Cafe, 185 Main Street. It's a fundraiser party for Pioneer Valley Workers Center Wine and Malt. And can you state your, your name for the record, please? Yeah, I'm Jason Katosh. I uh, work at the Pioneer Valley Workers Center. Okay. Thanks for coming. Um, so can you tell us a little, this is, seems like a long day, 8 to midnight. <laughs> <Tell us about. laughs> Um, we've been, uh, for the past couple of years, having kind of later night parties at Haymarket, um, usually in, on May 1st, uh, and we were just going to have like, um, music and wine and beer as a fundraiser. Okay. And how early is your music going to start? Um, that's not going to start until around 9 o'clock. 8 o'clock? 9 o'clock in the evening. Oh, okay. 9 p.m. Does the event go from 8 a.m. until no, no. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a typo. Okay. <laughs> so it's <laughs> over like. Yes, it's, okay. only, it's only a couple of hours in the evening. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, it says 8 a.m. So <laughs> it's, it's, okay. yeah, it's hard to like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was like, wow, that's a big party. We're going to have several more questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so for that, I have. Uh, do you have a distributor? Uh, Berkshire Brewing. Oh, okay. Do you need anything from them, Annie, from Berkshire? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I actually saw Jason right before the meeting. He told me. Super. Great. All right, I don't have any questions. Do you guys have any questions? Mm -hmm. I have no questions. Sure. I will make a motion to approve the application for a short-term liquor license uh, for the Market Cafe on February 15th, 2019, from 8 p.m. I believe till midnight um, at the Market um, as a fundraiser party for Pioneer Valley Workers Center, and it's a wine and malt license. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Uh, number seven, applications for short-term liquor licenses in Northampton Center for the Arts, place at Northampton Community Arts Trust, 33 College Street. But a uh, fee waiver, a date time is February 24, 2019, 6 to 11 p.m. Pioneer Valley Jazz shares a concert, March 7th, 8th, and 9th, 2019, 6 to 10, and March 10th, 2019, 1 p.m. to 5. Caney Theater Group, Songs from the World. And then date um, April 5th, 2019, 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. And CFA fundraiser, uh, Pennies from Heaven. And that's an all Hi, right, can you state your name for the records, please? Uh, yes, I'm Penny Burke, ever retiring director. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I am here to introduce you to. <laughs> Melissa Demetrius, who is a new associate director and who will probably be appearing before you in future meetings to apply for the license. She also happens to be a TIPS trained server, so she's well qualified. <laughs> These are going to be run the same as uh, usual, no doubt. They are. The, the only difference is that the, the fundraiser is not all right. That's all inside, so you had a bit night. Okay. Do you guys have any other questions? I don't. You've had plenty of well run events at the Center for the Arts, so. Would you yep. like to make a motion? Questions? Sure, I'll make a motion <coughs> to approve the applications for short term liquor licenses for the Northampton Center for the Arts at the Q 
Community Arts Trust at 33 Holly Street on February 24th from 6 to 11 for the Pirate of Ballet Jazz Shares concert. March 7th, 8th, 9th, 6 to 10, and March 10th, 1 to 5 for the KE Theater Group Songs for New World. And on April 5th from 7 to 12 for the NCFA fundraiser Pennies from Heaven, all alcohol. I also move to approve the request for fee waiver. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Melissa. Nice <laughs> to meet you, too. Thank you. Okay, number eight, update on 2019 license for the rules. I put number two here. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 Okay, so back to item three, application for change of LLC manager, change of ownership interest, and uh, change of manager on off-premises wine and malt package store license. Can you state your names for the record, please? Hi, my name is Christy Bodine. I'm the attorney for the applicant. Okay. This is uh, Rajesh Bodine. Patel. He'll, he'll be the, um, the manager for the liquor license as well as the manager of the LLC. And this is Biren Patel. He is the owner of the LLC, okay. being a member of the LLC. Okay. And the change occurs because there were bef before there were two owners, uh, Biren and another fellow, um, Bikram. And Bikram sold his interest out. So Biren is the sole owner now. Okay. And we needed a new manager who was a citizen. So we have Rajesh stepping into that role. And you've been working there? Already? He's been training, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, and he has experience in liquor service. He's TIP certified. Uh -huh. um, I, so I don't know if you have any other questions. As far as I know, the establishment yeah. hasn't had any problems no. under the current ownership. Mm -hmm. We've been pretty careful. Yep. I don't have questions of you. I do not. I don't either. Oh, oh wow. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's wonderful. <laughs> that's pretty straightforward. Yeah. All required documents. Um, sure. I will make uh, a motion to approve the application for change of LLC manager, change of ownership interest, and change of manager on an off-premises wine and malt package store license uh, for Pasupati LLC, DBA, Mox Chip and Ale at 100 Damon Road in Northampton. Um, previous manager, Bikram Bandari, and proposed managers, um, Rajesh J. Patel. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Right. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's, uh, number eight, the update on the 2019 license renewals on the World War II Veterans Association of Hampshire County and the Elm Street Inn LLC. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. post office um, they said they tried to they tried to deliver it but yeah, no one was there so it went back to the post office and no one picked it up so it was um, the 31st I had an officer go down and hand deliver it um, and got a certificate of service from the manager so we you know now that she got it so they now have or they have five days since when this was delivered on the 31st um, that would bring us to, I think, tomorrow morning. Um, yeah. and I haven't heard anything. Okay. So at this point, well, now it's Feb it's in, we're into well into February, and they don't have a license. And this is um, World War II, mm -hmm. and they're still serving. Yeah. So. So I guess tomorrow, if I don't ha I don't hear anything, we send an officer. And By noon time, or are you going to give a full day? Um, what would we say in the letter? So, well, um, within five business days of receipt of this letter. So Friday morning, an officer can meet them at open. Friday morning. In other words, you have tomorrow, correct, is what you're saying? Right. So, so it's it was, today the last It was day. the 31st, which was Thursday. <coughs> so it, what would, it, would it start Friday the 1st? Well, five full business days. At the end of the fifth business day, so the beginning of the sixth, 
you would collect the license. Okay. Here's a silly question. Yeah. Maybe a business day for them if they're open on the weekends, does that include the weekend or is it really, or does that include the place? I think yeah, legal definition of business is probably when the business is open or um, in other words when you have like anything in court, you have five business days. Yeah. They're Monday through Friday, I think, generally. But I wonder if what so let's say we went with the bis business Monday Friday business days mm -hmm. and we didn't pull the license until Monday, what type of liability would it put them under if they're serving through the weekend and yeah, well, no, 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 no,
it stu- it just stopped tracking mid January. So the same guy that I spoke with at the post office says that basically we're SOL. So I sent another letter the other day. That's not how it works. <laughs> right. <That's> like, <laughs> right. We're supposed to be able to send You're, That's why you never certified mail. Right. right. And that's why you pay extra. Um, <laughs> So I re- I resent the letter on the first the last Friday. Local delivery. So I guess. And you don't know if they got it yet. You I have haven't I seat. haven't gotten the slip yet. I've just gotten this one saying we've sent it. Should we should we follow up on that? When did you send that? I sent it the first. Resent it the <coughs> February first. Okay. So do you want to just call the post office tomorrow and just kind of make sure that. It because if they seem to have a problem with their certified mail system. Yeah. I mean, just to check, because then we could send that same officer in one loop. Right. I could, um, I can just put in a tracking number on their website and it tells oh, you where it's go. at. Okay. I mean, this is the Ottoman, right? No, this is, um, the Elm Street Inn. Oh, the, the B&B? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So and there's there's is just a license for in holder. It's just an inholder. Yeah. yeah. So it's not that critical. It's just mm-hmm. wait and see you guys on that letter. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, number nine, clerk's update. That was a hearing for notch eight, D V and station telebar platform bar on the deck. Most cancellation of the bond. Cancellation of workers comp. Uh, it's for, um, so the bond is Bully. It's at Bully Service Center. Yeah. She's I'll just go one by one. I'll let you do one by one instead um, of me reading them all and then going through it. So. Okay, so yeah, we <coughs> got a notice from the ABCC that um, Notch 8 Union Station is, they have a hearing in March for delivering to an intoxicated person, one cat. So that's just a notice. So this is outside of the one that they had with us a, a while back. And yeah, this is brand new. How does it go straight to the ABCC? They send investigators out. Okay. And they sit in the bar and they watch. And okay. Yeah. And do we know which um, bar it was? Um, no, we don't. Dunkin' Donuts inside Pride moved to Damon Road. Yep. 
Um, the building commissioner doesn't think that's the case, mm -hmm. but someone, I think the health department told me that was. So I sent um, a letter to the uh, pride of the people who own the pride location, which is saying if you change your operation or location, we need to know about it. Yeah, I think it, because it, the subway from King Street's moving to the old Dunkin' Donuts mm -hmm. in Pride, so I think, I do think that Dunkin' Donuts moved, like it was the owner, was a separate that. owner, and they moved to the better location. Okay, yeah. Well, I guess we'll wait and see once he gets this letter. Okay. We're gonna sign the uh, hot burrito they have a <laughs> permit out, like a building permit. They haven't opened yet, oh. um, but they have. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, just like, oh, Andy <laughs> knows all. <laughs> okay, and then I have a few things on any business, but we're not doing it. So yeah, so number 10, approval of minutes, December 5th, 2018, Natasha and Helen. You guys both go on that? Yes. I am, yes. I'll make a move to approve the December 5th, 2018 minutes. One second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. And I'll make a motion to approve, I, I assume you, yes. you're good, to approve uh, January 3rd, 2018, Brian Helen. Second. All in favor? Aye. New business. Um, oh, uh, so the King Street moved to Pride. So, um, but they're not open yet. Right. So when they do, they're also on their website. <laughs> yeah. So they'll get a letter. They'll get a letter too. Um, okay. And then the Pomeroy Inn on um, Pomeroy. Terrace. They have been operating since um, May of 18, and they, so we got a um, a flyer from them. So now they have a letter, uh, <laughs> and they don't have any <laughs> service permit from the health department too, and they don't have that. So um, they, this was sent. This was sent just yesterday.